Hello everyone and welcome back to my playthrough of Nobody Wants to Die. Last time we continued our investigation underneath Green's apartment and found, you know, a whole lot of bodies and uh, ultimately it looked like Green was the one that killed everyone. But why? We still don't know. The, th uh, the, the person in our earpiece, the stranger, the murderer... Um, well, the person behind this whole thing anyway, he basically threatened Sarah and we rushed over to fig to find her, make sure she was okay and figured out she's, uh, a very, very ill woman in a wheelchair. And we don't know what's going on. Apparently she gave her original body to the black market. She rented it out. Um, for what purpose, I don't know. I'm guessing maybe money. Who knows? But let's look around first before we continue on. Frozen Memories. Research by an independent scientist and social activist, B. Chalmers, proves that memory disorders increase in proportion to each year spent in the memory bank. CTC Director George Boyle declined to comment. Unofficial sources say authorities have initiated proceedings against Chalmers. Fearing... Excuse me. Fearing censorship, Chalmers is publishing his research in our newspaper. Identity at risk. Professor R. Pravett and D. Sinburn argue that Icarite transplantation does not guarantee continue continuity of identity. The Icarite rebuilds a functional organization specific to the functioning of each individual in a new body, recreating it only to the extent of the new biological environment allows it. This is why sequenization is so difficult for some people. Dreaming Icarites. Memory bank scans by an activist group that wishes to remain anonymous show traces of frozen Icarite activity. Does this mean that even disembodied Icarites can feel? Or think? Can they dream? Why not? Those mushrooms are funny. Is that supposed to mean they're funny mushrooms? Okay. Twenty seventy one, Green Bank. Acid rains ravaging our planet will not cause the extinction of the flora. The new project involves collecting bulbs and seeds and temporarily creating holographic facsimiles of all plants. The real, most exquisite specimens of flora will still be on display in the roof sections of the living museums. Interesting. And we are in the old museum. Department of Mortality. Oh, these are the pictures that we sent. What fucking emotions management issues? James Carr, tips for cooperation. Not to mention the wife. Don't argue, distract him. He abuses alcohol. No, I don't. I've actually gone out of my way to refuse alcohol. The problem of emotion management. What an eyesore. Did you say anything? Uh, no, nothing. Uh, lovely sculptures. Yeah, what's the what's the deal with them? Why uh j just why? Practical guide to sculpture, the traditional methods. The red cock. Scientists have painstakingly developed a formula 
of plant nutrients, which can resurrect any plant, even Anyone? with the smallest amount of sunlight. Soon, living museums will bloom again. Some tells me they didn't. You know, with the amount of rain going on all the time, I'm surprised nothing grows. Um, what are these figurines? Oh. What are these figurines? <sighs> They're memories. I've read that after an Icarite transplant, especially an illegal one, some can be lost. That one's the most valuable. One night, when the acid rain was bad, Taylor and I hid upstairs, where you came in. And back then, it was just a two by three foot hole that ended in a wall of rubble. And instead of sitting in the cold with her teeth chattering like any normal person, Taylor started fiddling with the flashlight. And then something flashed in the pile of rubble. So we started digging. And we dug until we unearthed this little Statue of Liberty figurine. It was beaten up, but it looked valuable. And we fenced it right away. And we came back here hoping to find more. Are you an orphan? You sound like nobody was looking after you. You're on your own fast in the slums. Because you can either afford children, or you can afford new bodies. Not both. I was ahead of my family by the time I was 15. How did you do it? We found out there used to be a museum here. So we dug more. Day after day, till our hands were bloody. We kept digging. For normal people, it's a portrait of misery, desperation, but for Taylor, we were adventurers on a fucking treasure hunt. We glued, fixed, and sold everything we found. <laughs> Would you believe we, we excavated this whole place like a pair of underage slum archaeologists? How long did it take? It must have taken a while. Almost five years, but it was our livelihood. We were dirt poor and surrounded by dirt, but we felt rich. At least until Taylor tricked me. Eight years ago, give or take a few days. Was it your sister? Your sister? No. We were in love. I remember exactly when she tricked me because it was when I turned 21. First subscription. And Taylor paid for it for me. She did it behind my fucking back. That's bad? That's bad? What am I missing? After a month, her subscription expired. And we were broke, and there was no one to help her. She wound up in the bank, and the body went to auction. And that's why I have to get her out. No matter what it takes. You get it now? Oh, fuck! Damn it. Got any ambrosia anywhere? Anything higher octane? I'll pour us something. Or you can also help yourself to Ambrosia in the bedroom. Yeah, I'll do that.
body confiscation of 12 20 23 21 taylor adams a cry will be delivered to the memory bank immediately row 731 w freezer 77329 j Wow. I remember it. <laughs> this is older than me. Chicken Justice? The last of his kind. He fights for a better world. When darkness falls, he dons a mask and dispenses justice. He crows each dawn with a pure heart, knowing he's protected the streets of his city. Add on, solve puzzles, and summon the chicken of justice. Are you worthy to become his assistants? Assistant, sorry. Um, am I the chicken of justice? Whoops. My last will. Max Peter Dario, you deserve answers. Lots of them. But first, you deserve an apology. And apology. I lied to you. I haven't gone anywhere. I tried everything to get Taylor out. I didn't want you involved because it was too dangerous. The fact that you're reading this is proof. I'm sorry I left you. Sorry I didn't say anything. And sorry I didn't make it. I only ask one thing, and I've thought about it carefully. If I can't live without Taylor, I want to dream with her. I believe we'll dream together in the bank. Don't pull me out. Love, Sarah. P.S. I sorted everything for you. The items are below, marked with your names. Everything else can be thrown away or sold and divided equally. I can't do anything. Just in case there was something on the back and nothing there yet. Okay. Blood tests from the beginning of the month. Salma Jane? Jane Salma. Body number, body age, date drawn. Synchronization, the key to happiness by Jane Salma. We have already discovered the key to eternal life. Now it's time for the key to eternal happiness. It's the book you're holding. Jane Salma, an expert in psychology and psychiatry, whose famous statement, synchronization is all that really matters, reveals the secrets of deepening the synchronization process and achieving eternal happiness. Yeah, somehow I don't believe it worked. James. Ahoy, ahoy. Aren't you afraid your memories will eventually fade away? Uh, mine don't fade away. Instead, they haunt me. Lucky me. Mine don't fade. They haunt me more literally than I'd like. You must have some good ones. At least one. The wife who keeps bothering me while I'm watching a movie. We're at the movies, and... Rachel tries to convince me it's a crime flick she's already seen. They were all the same to her. And of course, she's teasing me and I'm trying to watch the fucking movie. Right now, I'd give anything to be sitting there next to her. I'd focus all my attention on her. Maybe then you wouldn't remember it. Maybe it's the imperfect moments that create the most precious memories. One room is well secured, or have you read Chicken of Justice? I'm gonna go with number four, have you read Chicken of Justice? Have you read Chicken of Justice? 
There is no way you know this. The last of his kind. He could give up, but he fights for a better world for the rest of us. A true hero. <laughs> oh, I don't believe it. My brother Dario was crazy about him. I already like this kid. I already like this kid. The chicken is only one step away from detective stories. One room is well secured. This one room, the bedroom, is totally secure. It's a slum, but I gotta be able to close my eyes sometimes. It's possible to break in there with enough effort, but I'd have time to be awake and ready. And shoot the shelf above the burglar? And shoot the shelf above the burglar? I'd have time to reload and finish the piece of shit. Inside was a bunch of files with names. In the middle of the room was a bunch of files with names. Can't you respect anyone else's privacy? I said Detective. none of the siblings knew. If something went wrong, I prepared myself for it. But what's one have to do with the other? I sorted things out for them and left a will that made it clear I believed Taylor and I would be in heaven at the bank. So you lie to them. So you're just lying to them. Didn't you hear what I said? I do it for them. Yeah, I heard. What if Taylor left you the same kind of will? It's not the same. Why not let them choose? Uh, I don't know, honestly. How much easier would it be if we just died? I wouldn't say it's easier. It's different. Trust me. Ugh. Why do I always do this? Sorry. Sometimes I just... I think that might be better. We get our time here and we can use it and then... Even if there was no after, maybe here and now matter more. What's going on with your siblings now? I hope this isn't a tough question. Sarah, how are Max, Dario, and Peter now? I wasn't talking... I saw the name on the cabinets. Did they... Don't worry, they're all alive and doing pretty well. They rented a legal apartment, floor 40. They have better air than here. Bodies wear out slower. How did you end up with the police? So how did a slum girl get this job? Maybe you got yours. I had to work for it. I admire your determination. Points for determination. Must not have been easy for you. Fortunate combo. I had insomnia and hated wasting my time. I guess that's how I managed to pass all the exams. Did our department come for Taylor? Did our department come for Taylor? Yes. So why... Did I join you? Maybe I wanted to take control? Of some sort. I decided I was never going to be powerless like that again. I'm just a liaison, but I already know when and where they move. Do you know which agent came for Taylor? Do you know who it was? Which one of us came for Taylor? It was hard to resist the temptation to check it out. Want to get some revenge? He was so ordinary. A regular agent. To really get justice, I'd have to get revenge on this whole sick fucking system. You want to take revenge on the system? And how about we get revenge on this whole sick fucking system? Like that's possible. And if it was? If it was. Wait, what kind of bullshit is that? Are you accusing me of something? Just curious. So what are we drinking to? What are we drinking to? Well, you're the expert. Sit down and make a toast. Okay. Oh, whoops. Bottoms up. Two. To honesty. Honesty. I think we're gonna need it. Okay.
What are you renting the body for? What are you renting the body for? A surrogate. For some rich broad. A good one, I hope. Tell me it's not Jane Salma. Sarah, please tell me it's not Jane Salma. I found her file. Ugh, calm down. I checked her. I got to her. She had a similar case before, and they couldn't prove anything. Even with plenty of evidence. Oh, damn it. The arrangement came from me. She had the dough, I had the body with the right biological conditions, plus I could cover for her. That's why I know she's not a suspect. All right, I will trust you. Okay. I'll trust you. At least I'll try. Much appreciated. All right. So you rented your body. Where did you get this one? The current model. Salma said it was recycled. Give one to me. No. A recycled body? After what I've seen, that's hard to swallow. They must have put someone on ice for you to get it. No, no, no. Somebody bought a new body, and no one wanted this one. Shall we check it? We can scan the shell and check. There's no need, really. Let's not. Hypocrite. Oh, that's what I thought. Hypocrite. You need to see the big picture of what you've gotten yourself into. James, I have nightmares. Every single fucking night. I see her in them. Welcome to the club. Every morning, I wake up from them and Taylor can't. And it haunts me. What if she's trapped there in an endless nightmare? It's your nightmare, not hers. They're your nightmares, not hers. You're projecting your fears where they don't exist. And you have to deal with them. James, I have to save her. Fuck! I mean, I don't know what you were doing. You understand? We're supposed to be the good guys. Fuck's sake, Sarah. We were supposed to be the good guys, remember? You believed there were lines we never cross. What are you saying? Maybe you should stop before it's too late. Yeah? Just let her rot in the bank? After what she gave for me? You could start over. Maybe Taylor would want that. After what Taylor did for you, maybe she wouldn't want you to throw away your life. You can start over. While you're young, trust me. At least by the time you turn 100, there's still a chance. Fuck off. But remember, you can count on me. Hey, I piss everyone off. I'm honest. Still, you can count on me. Dress your finger. I can handle it. It's interesting that, um, <laughs> even Sarah, even Sarah, who, uh, you know, we assumed was kind of above all this. I mean, we never assumed she would be in this kind of predicament. Um, yeah, that she would be above all this. But she's... She's the same. She's very hypocritical. But then again, I guess we're kind of playing a bit of a high and mighty guy. In terms of, like, I'm honest... And, you know, there's lines we don't cross and shit like that. Um, I don't, like, in terms of, like, how I'm playing the character, I don't mean it like that. I'm not the kind of person, I don't like to consider myself high and mighty. Like, we're all fucking human. We're all going to be hypocritical from time to time. It happens. Like, 
you know, it, it no matter what, no matter what you do, as much as you like to keep promises, you're going to break them. It's just a fact of life. No matter how much you'd like to think this is the the route you'd like to go, you're going to veer from it every now and then. It, it that's life. You know, people are dynamic. People are three dimensional that way. Sorry, it sounds like a storm going on, but I can't tell if it's in the game or if it's if it's in real life. Um, and again, that's I, I'm trying to be as forthcoming as I can with um, with Jack with like how we're playing uh, this guy. So uh, again, I'm trying to keep it straight and narrow as much as possible. Yeah, we're we're fucking we're a boozer, we're smoking. Even though I'm not much of a I'm not playing him to be a boozer, he still drinks. But again, we're trying to we're trying to do the right thing. Um pretty much for the sake of the right thing. I don't know, I guess. Actually, give me one second, guys. It is a little warm. I'm just gonna turn on my AC. Hey, sorry about that, guys. And it looks like the storm was from the game, not in real life. Okay, it's time to move. There's something locked. Do I go back and look around? I'm just going to take another quick peek. And you? Why do you become a cop? Oh, jeez. Uh... Uh, I always like crime oh, mysteries. Thing for crime mysteries, so... Sure, who doesn't? Is that all? Well, I guess I had some ideals, too. I believed in justice and shit like that. But you don't anymore? I believe. As much as ever. I'm just not looking for it in the department. Copy that. Yeah, I was just looking around. You know what? Fuck it. Let's just keep going. Sarah, we need to start investigating. Just a minute. Not so fast. One more question. A basic one. Yeah? Why don't you tell me why you stormed in here like a lunatic? I told you. I thought you were in danger. Based on what? Did something happen when we lost contact? Mm-hmm. Can you fire up the board here? No. We'll do it the old way, then. In the meantime, I'll summarize the Red Room for you. The Red Room? It's a piece of fucked up history. Better buckle up. <sighs> I can't believe all this evidence. You were right from the start. Seriously? What surprises you most? That's not what I meant. But the murderer was behind everything from the beginning. Did he take over his body? Strong assumption. We better go one step at a time. Now? You're going to get skeptical now? I just want to sort it out. Okay. Where do we start? James, I managed to get what was in Green's safe. There were recordings of his synchro tests and a ton of private notes. It's pretty unusual. Upload. God, there's more. Okay. So, do we have any indication the killer took control of Green? What was the point of a plot that linked Green's case to the Icarus shooting? Okay, let's look at the clues one by one first. So transfer machine. Green had a legal consciousness transfer machine. Kept it in a secret room under the foyer. His own transfer machine. I can't even get my shit together after three. This explains his problems. They were his own doing. Okay. Ouroboroi? Ouroboroi. I guess. The modus operandi of a murderer. Symbols and dates. One carved half a century ago, the other is freshly painted. Both coinciding with the dates of Green's and Kovalev's final deaths. Both died on dates shown on the symbols. The problem is that Green's date of death was carved long ago. Monitoring recordings. Recordings of Green's massacre. Afterward, you can see he took a he took a lift up by himself and hung himself from the tree. But he acted like someone was there with him. Why didn't we have access to these recordings? 
They were in the Red Room. I'll try to get to them. Green's plants. Lots of failed attempts to save the current system. I learned this was the plan for the next hundred years. Numerous attempts to save what we have and this system. And our system isn't perfect? At least for them. It turns out not to be the case. Apparently, every prediction ended in disaster. Icarus Lounge. Famous boil in fucking park. Plotted in the same lounge with Roy from the stadiums and Miller from the security company. Fucking dimmer. Oh, haven't heard that before. Good to know you still have feelings for them. Recording of Syncrotest conversations. Between Salma and Green, the politician's predictions didn't bode well. How Salma's did you recorder. Describe it? That you're losing control of yourself. Mm -hmm. It's a kind of consciousness erosion. We'll increase the dose of ambrosia and the amount of synchro tests. It should help. I need something better. We don't have anything else yet. I'm working on it. It's one big joke. Selma sounds familiar, don't you think? Shit. I thought she was going to get herself a synthesizer. Red Room's bigwigs. A combative senator, a lecherous governor, a media magnate, an influential group. They plotted to distract the little people and diffuse unrest. I'm getting used to the big names of the corpses at our feet. What are they doing there? Apart from the obvious. Together they worked on how to calm the riots. How to use the fourth estate. Who knows if they would have failed. Dickheads. Okay. Uh, TV people, group of journalists, celebrities from the Red Room, all delivering the same message through screens. Lots of familiar faces, but compared to Green, they're small fry. It's their mouth that spits out lies that millions eat up. And orphanages. Green's orphanages were secretly body farms for him and the other sick fucks. I still don't get that part of the story. When I think that they really used the... It's... They... At least the motherfucker's dead. Everyone like him deserved it. I feel like they got off easy. Okay, so... Let's start from here. Do we have any indication that the killer took control of Green's body? So this one. Uh, yeah. He doesn't act normal. Could this be desynchro? Green's behavior is weird. He's alone in the recordings, but he seems to be arguing with someone. Maybe fighting? What's it mean? Um... Maybe this? Oops. Yeah. Green doesn't act like himself in the recordings. The machine added to his desynchronization. But he didn't use it on the night of the incident. Do we have any reason to think someone tampered with the psyche? This? Oh. We have no evidence any of them interfere with his mind. Yeah, that's true. This one. There may be no evidence that they made a transfer of consciousness at the time of the incident, but his behavior... I know, it's damn suspicious. Let's just put it together piece by piece. So there's no sign anyone there had done a consciousness swap. The level of Green's desynchronization along with his with the recording show he wasn't fully in control of himself. Okay, so this one was, what was the point of plot that linked Green's case to the Icarus shooting? That would be this one. Plotting. They didn't die because of money. Yeah, they had plenty of it. There had to be another reason. The four of them were scheming some new taxes and trying to cover their asses. Their death is significant, but taxes don't explain it. There has to be more to it. What though? Maybe this one? Lots of failed attempts to save the current system. 
So Green had Kovalev take out players who were symbols of the old order. In Green's final moments, there had to be more to it than just these few guys. So probably this one. The Red Room's bigwigs. You're telling me these yeah. are the only people who can deal with the chaos in this city? Am I? No. But I think that's what Green is trying to tell us. Do you buy it? Well, this motherfucker knew corruption and power like no one else. Okay, whether it was Green's will or someone else was pulling the strings, why did Green have to die? I see at least two, uh, no, three possibilities. Can you be more specific, Miss Detective? I'm throwing them in. Okay, so for Green, the killing of the bodies of both of his owners meant critical mass. With fewer people in the city having real power, there was no way to hold back the spread of chaos. So why did Green have to die? Okay, let's see what these new ones are. Green was a key player in the intrigue, which was about burning Rome. The whole thing may simply have been about tearing the city apart. Uh, Puppet Master. If someone could influence Green, it's possible they could control someone else, too. Following this lead, Green didn't have to be the only one like that. And... Changing of the Guard. The situation created a political vacuum. Perfect for someone who wanted to Since seize power. Since the most power. influential players are more or less dead, their seats are up for grabs. <sighs> okay, why did Green have to die? I guess this one? Green was a key player in the intrigue. Which was about burning Green Rome. was the last person who could stop the spreading chaos. I wonder if his death was a crime of passion, or if it was planned. So Green was a key player in the intro. Oh, oops. Killing Green was the last straw to destabilize his town. But why now, in the middle of everything? Instead of pulling the strings to the bitter end. Yeah, the situation created a political vacuum. Yes, this one. No. Try this one? I didn't think so. Oops. So... Why now, basically? Maybe this one, the Ouroboros. Yeah. So destroying the world order takes a plan carried out over decades, but Green died before he finished the job. What was this doing for the killers? Which one was pulling the strings? But I haven't put these in yet. Can't do anything else. Oh well. How much planning does it take to set up something like that? I don't know, but we need to figure out who's pulling the strings in all of this. All right, now I'm actually going to call it here for this one. Um, we're getting closer to the truth, um, to what this is all about. Uh, and, you know, as I stated earlier, there's it, it's pretty obvious what the motive is, unless that's what they want us to think. But it's still not clear who is really behind this. I mean, a lot of people... Um, wanted to get rid of Green. Because he was basically becoming too too powerful for his own good. And the rest of the some some of the big wigs didn't like that, so 
it's interesting. Uh, still not sure where this is going. Um, I'm not... As much as I love, like, detective games and all that shit, figuring shit out, um, I'm pretty bad when it comes to figuring out, like, looking at the big picture most of the time. Especially when it comes to, like, politics and shit. As much as I love politicking, I, I'm terrible at it. I'm, I'm really bad. But we'll see in the coming videos. All will be revealed, hopefully. In the meantime, guys, thank you all so much for watching. And I will see you in the next one. Take care.